Undisputed welterweight champion Terence Crawford may be targeting a shocking jump all the way up to 160 pounds for a middleweight showdown against tough British contender Chris Eubank Jr. Yes, you heard that correctly. The pound-for-pound -pound king who just unified the welterweight titles in a career-defining destruction of Errol Spence Jr. could be on a collision course with Eubank and the middleweight division in what would be an absolutely unprecedented move. It's the type of rumor that seems almost too outlandish to actually materialize, but this is the sweet science we're talking about. If there's any fighter daring and talented enough to attempt such a stratospheric three-division leap, it's the ageless Terence Bud Crawford. There's a whole lot to unpack and examine surrounding this blockbuster rumor. So strap yourselves in as we take a deep investigative look into how Terence Crawford, vaulting up to 160 LBs to face Chris Eubank Jr., could hugely shake up the boxing landscape in 2024. This one is sure to spark some heated debates. Let's rewind to the aftermath of Crawford's virtuoso undisputed championship clinching win over Errol Spence Jr. this past July. Most fans and pundits expected an immediate rematch to run things back after such a legacy-defining showdown. Spence even exercised his contractual rematch clause in the initial weeks post-fight. But for one reason or another, perhaps a combination of Spence's cataract issues and other political maneuverings, that anticipated do-over bout just never managed to get put together between the former welterweight kings. With the Spence fight falling through and no other appetizing options cropping up at 147 LBs, Crawford made the surprising decision to part ways with his longtime promoters at Premier Boxing Champions. A fresh free agent on the open market, the rumor mill immediately started swirling about his future plans and potential landing spot. The worst kept secret in boxing has been the 35-year-old Omaha native's insatiable desire to entice global pound-for-pound -pound star Canelo Alvarez into a showdown for all the super middleweight marbles. Crawford has long professed his confidence in being able to move up and dethrone the kingpin at 168 LBS. However, Canelo and his team have shown zero public interest in granting Bud that coveted superfight anytime soon. With no love coming Crawford's way from that side, the gear started turning on some outside-the-box approaches to finally force Alvarez's hand. And that's where the Chris Eubank Jr. rumor seems to have stemmed from initially. The theory speculates that by leapfrogging all the way up to middleweight from welterweight, Crawford can acclimate to that higher weight, take out a credible contender like Eubank, and in the process bolster his own widespread drawing power while directly campaigning for that Canelo superfight from 168 LBS. It's an awfully bold move in theory, but from an established risk-taker like Crawford, is it really too outlandish of a gambit to consider plausible? Here's a look at how these two combatants might match up in the ring if this surprising rumor ends up coming to fruition. On one side, you have Terence Crawford, universally regarded as one of this generation's most naturally skilled, versatile, and defensively sound fighters. The former undisputed junior welterweight and welterweight champion carved out a path to pound-for-pound -pound supremacy through a combination of timing, reflexes, underrated power, and an ability to systematically dismantle opponents' game plans. While not the prototypical physical specimen you imagine powering up to middleweight, Crawford's sharp technical acumen and boxing IQ are perhaps unmatched across the entire sport. Many observers believe he's only begun scratching the surface of his true potential over these next couple of prime years, too. On the other side stands Chris Eubank Jr., a nearly six-foot-tall middleweight contender still chasing his first legitimate world title reign, despite over a decade of professional campaigning at or around 160 LBAs. Eubank combines his rangy height and excellent athletic tools with a hit-and-move volume-striking style that has given most opponents issues through sheer technical consistency and body work alone. The knock against Eubank has long been a perceived lack of definable one-punch power and killer instinct to truly finish opponents when opportunities arise, but he's developed a respectable resume through sheer longevity at basically one weight class for the duration of his pro career. Looking at the potential stylistic clash between these two diverse fighters provides some interesting insights. On paper, the size discrepancy alone seems to immediately benefit the larger, rangier Eubank against the smaller Crawford. Bud has shown in the past an ability to mitigate these length-height disadvantages against bigger opponents, but doing so while simultaneously carrying beef 20-plus pounds north of his usual fighting form 
could nullify those advantages. In terms of technical acumen, both corners feature tremendously high-level boxing skills and fundamentals, more of a saw-off than a clear edge from either specific fighter. The key differentials would fall to power, foot speed, and defense. Eubank possesses the proven ability to strike from angles and rack up the point scoring volume against most middleweight opposition. But matching the fleet of foot fluid defensive craft of Crawford could prove an immense challenge, especially if the Omaha man can retain his high level reflexes and timing when weighted at 160 lbs. Power and strength could be a wash despite the size discrepancy as well. Eubank has never quite developed into a definitive one punch finisher in the ring playing more toward volume and consistency, whereas Crawford's deceptively heavy hands and knockdown power have translated seamlessly across multiple weight rises during his historic championship runs. From a statistical profile, Crawford represents perhaps the most polished and accomplished smaller man to ever attempt jumping this high in weight to actively pursue a title shot. His combination of technique, footwork and punch selection has consistently proven capable of bridging the gap against larger opposition before. But one mistake or momentary defensive lapse, and he could easily get blitzed by Eubank's sheer physicality. Of course, as this entire rumor indicates, the biggest fight Terence Crawford would actually be angling for by taking this massive gamble should not be overlooked. By seeking out a credible middleweight contender like Chris Eubank Jr., dominating him impressively at 160 LBs, and expanding his fan base globally in the process, Crawford inserts himself as possibly the biggest star power available for a marquee showdown against the current pound-for-pound -pound king Canelo Alvarez. But has spoken extensively about his confidence in one day securing that legacy-defining clash with Alvarez, who currently campaigns at 168 LBs in the super middleweight division one weight above middleweight. In recent times, Canelo himself is actually rumored to be facing WBC middleweight champ Jermall Charlo next, a sign of his increasing willingness to pursue fights at the lower weight classes. A Crawford victory over Eubank would instantly make him the most viable, high-profile candidate for Alvarez to target in the near future. Those kinds of crossover matchups are the types of mega events promoters and networks salivate over. For Canelo, toppling an elite talent like Crawford from multiple divisions below raises his potential to become the first true, undisputed fighter across four separate weight classes. That unprecedented accolade understandably carries immense financial incentives and legacy solidifying factors that money clearly cannot dissuade him from pursuing. Crawford taking the initiative to preemptively position himself at 160-168 LBs would leave Alvarez without many plausible excuses to continue ducking the Nebraska native. Boxing politics and promotional allegiances would suddenly get set aside for a clash of that magnitude between top pound-for-pound -pound entrants. There's already heavy speculation that Crawford's motives go well beyond just facing Eubank as a middleweight showcase making a resounding statement against the British contender while daring Alvarez to commit from across the ropes seems the true endgame strategy brewing behind the scenes for Team Crawford. Only time will ultimately reveal how realistic those aspirations truly are. But if gambling big is what it will take for Crawford to finally compel the reluctant Canelo into granting him a career-crowning superfight, don't put anything past the audacious ambitions and supreme self-belief fueling this potential three-division climb against Eubank. There's still plenty of uncertainty as to whether this wildly unique matchup gains traction from both sides. But you can be certain boxing fans everywhere will be watching and anticipating its development with bated breath. Whenever a fighter of Terence Crawford's all-time great caliber puts everything on the line for true immortality, the world takes notice. Buckle up for a potentially rocky road towards that elusive Canelo fight, a journey rumored to begin against Chris Eubank Jr. of all possible opponents. Drop your own thoughts and predictions down below on how you see this potential marquee middleweight clash unfolding between the pound-for-pound -pound king and the gatekeeper should it actually get booked. As always, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more breakdowns just like this, where we dive into the biggest stories and rumors circulating in the wild world of professional boxing.